August 4th, 2020, an explosion in Beirut, Lebanon rocked the city and was felt across the country. The Orient Queen was docked at the same port where the blast occurred. Miraculously, given its closeness to the explosion, only two crew members died. Seven were injured. Would you dare to hit the open seas and experience some of the worst ship disasters of all time? From explosions to icebergs and massive storms to the infamous poop cruise, we'll take you around the world on this once in a lifetime voyage. Our once in a lifetime meter reads three out of 10 as we go back to July 2008. About 644 kilometers north of New Zealand, a powerful storm hit the P&O Pacific Sun. Giant waves kept crashing against the hull, tossing the ship around and injuring 42 passengers. Technical malfunctions and human error caused this 2019 disaster. After enjoying the sights of Venice, the MSC Opera failed to slow as it was docking. Eyewitnesses reported the ship might have sped up as it collided with a Uniworld River cruise ship and bounced off the seawall. Fortunately, no injuries were reported on the MSC Opera, but there were several minor injuries on the river cruise ship. Welcome aboard the Poop Cruise, as we move the once in a lifetime meter up to 5 out of 10. In February 2013, a four day cruise turned into an eight day nightmare for its passengers. A fire knocked out the ship's power and left it adrift without air conditioning, lights, water, and functioning toilets. It got called the poop cruise as human waste got piled up in bags in the hallways. Ugh. On January 13, 2012, the Costa Concordia was Italy's largest cruise ship. After a series of human errors, the vessel collided with rocks. The engine room flooded, leaving the 2,435 passenger ship helpless. Some of the capsized vessel's lifeboats were no longer accessible, and 32 passengers drowned trying to escape. In 2006, about an hour after departing from Florida, the Crown Princess's navigation system began taking the ship off the intended course. The second officer's steering errors caused the vessel to tip at a steep angle. When the ship began a sudden roll, water from the pool flooded its upper decks. People and furniture got thrown around, causing 14 serious and 284 minor injuries. Now, the once in a lifetime meter advances to 6.5. On November 8, 2010, the Carnival Splendor suffered a mechanical failure that led to a major fire, and the 4,200 passengers were stranded on the Pacific Ocean for five days with no power. Fortunately, there were no fatalities or injuries. One of the biggest ship disasters in China's history takes the once in a lifetime meter to 7 out of 10. On June 1, 2015, the Eastern Star was cruising the Yangtze River near Wuhan when it got caught in a storm. Facing winds up to 118 kilometers an hour, possibly caused by a tornado, the ship capsized within seconds, killing 442 passengers. Only 12 were rescued. On February 2, 2006, 1,418 people boarded the Al Salam Boccaccio 98 ferry in Saudi Arabia and headed towards Egypt. Midway through the journey, a fire and an explosion triggered a chain reaction that eventually sank the ship, killing 1,031 people, with another 710 missing and presumed dead. An investigation reports that the captain did not order passengers and crew to evacuate the sinking ship. The most famous ship disaster took place on April 15, 1912, when the Titanic collided with an iceberg 740 kilometers off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada. The collision caused a 91-meter gash in the hull, and the Titanic only remained afloat for 90 minutes before sinking. There were only enough lifeboats for 1,178 of the 3,300 passengers. Over 1,500 people died. Before we crank the once in a lifetime meter up to 10 out of 10, let's take a look at our bonus fact. Each year, an average cruise ship travels over 135,000 kilometers. That's 3.5 times around the world and more than one third of the way to the moon. This September 26, 2002 disaster is often called Africa's Titanic. The MV Lajula was built to hold 580 people, but had over three times that many on board. Amid extreme weather and incredibly overcrowded, the MV Jula capsized, taking an estimated 1,863 lives with her. That makes this the worst ship disaster of all time. <laughs>